Rob, congratulations. A, a very impressive victory against, obviously, a very dangerous opponent. So uh, certainly banged up a little bit as you sit there. But how, how do you feel about the, the result and your performance overall? Um, yeah, ob obviously, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I always looked like this. I was quite like, <laughs> oh, yeah, this show. Plus, I had a firefight with Costa, so, you know, it shows a little bit. Um, I'm very, more than the win itself, I'm happy with, I don't know, I'm satisfied with what I wanted to achieve, and I achieved that. You, it looked like you had your rhythm very early on. The timing, everything was, I mean, everything was going your way, right? And then one shot, like, nearly changes everything. I guess how difficult is that moving forward, to, you know, mentally to know that, like, that guy has the power to change everything in a second, even as I'm doing everything perfectly? Ah, it was all right. I just brushed it off. <laughs> you know, I, we're in the fight game. You know, it's, there are, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Um, <laughs> a lot out there. Yeah, it's, there's a, uh, we're in the fight game. This is, yeah, there are moments, there are milliseconds that can change the outcome of the fight. It is, yeah, you can't let off for a second, for a millisecond. And sometimes, as you said, you'll do everything right and he'll throw a Hail Mary spinning heel kick, capoeira kick, and it'll land. But I did brush it off. Just wanna, I want to highlight that. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, I mean, listen, you know, Dana was here earlier, and he said, look, you know, Rob's always in the title mix when we're talking about, you know, performances like that. But there's a lot going on in the division right now. So are you, are you th thinking about that? I mean, are you thinking about the title picture and what gets you there faster and things like that? Uh, definitely not, mate. I've been in this game for a long time. I understand the rules and how it's played. I, the only thing that I'm focusing on is myself, my career, my trajectory, my performances. That's, I think that's a, a, a key thing that I, I took away from this week and the pressures that I kind of put on myself this week and, you know, the fight itself. is It's just that, you know, I've got a grip on the reins. I'm not about to, to, to take the foot off the pedal. I'm going to go home, spend some time with my, my, my new daughter and then just get straight back into it. Love it. Now, that was kind of my last question for you is, uh, I guess, what do you see? I, we know you always like to go home and have a little time with the family. So do you envision, like, fighting – Twice more this year, once more this year. Like, what do you see as the plan? Definitely. I'd, I'd, I'd definitely like to fight twice more. To be able to, to jump in again mid-year would be great for me. I, wanna, I want to keep fighting. You know, like I said, I don't want to take the foot off the pedal. I very much intend to go home to my family and spend some time with my new daughter and my kids and my wife. But, mate, if I'm not spending time with them, what am I doing? I'm training. <laughs> like, that's all I'm doing. So... Yeah, if I'm training and I'm ready, I'm fighting. And gaming is in there, too. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. But I can't... The five kids, mate. <laughs> you know, I, I can't get anywhere near as much time doing that as I want to. Hey, Rob. Um, is Strickland probably... Is, is that the most logical opponent for you next, do you think? Or are you kind of keeping your options open? Uh, Options are definitely open. The, the middleweight division is, is funny. There's so much movement and fluidity in it and opportunity in it that any fight could be made at any time, any, anywhere. And on, honestly, UFC have always done right by me. I've never had to pick my opponents. They've always been laid out in front of me. You know, and that's, I'm not about to change the way I conduct business just now. <clears throat> You know, uh, you, you get matched up with Sean. You, you you said multiple times that, you know, you come from the gaming world and those are the most toxic people around. So I'm, sh I'm sure Sean's uh, tr trash talk's not going to get to you, right? <laughs> he's, he's not that bad. <laughs> like, like yeah, he's not that bad. I don't know. He's kind of holistically angry at everybody. I don't think he singles anyone out unless you do something to him particularly. I... I find it, he, I feel like it would be hard for him to, to, to get a grip on something I've done, but, you know, there's, there's trying. How long did it take you to recover from that spinning wheel kick in that, in that, in that first round? Mate, what kick? <laughs> 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 I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Uh, Robbie, um, I know you got the win for Australia, obviously, but Volkanovski didn't quite do that. And I just want to ask you, did you get to see his fight in the locker room or in the back, or what was your reaction to it? I was getting um, pushed around a little bit in the back there at the, at the time, but I did see the, the finish. And I saw uh, snippets. Like I was trying to watch it whenever I was given a chance. Mate, Tapuri's got good hands. 
you know, very good hands. And uh, mate, that, that's the game we're in. That's the stakes. Fortunately, one man loses, one man wins. And mate, he's been at the top of the game for so long. I don't count that Makachev fight like with much weight because of the circumstances that were around it. But mate, he's done so much work in that division. Probably the most dominant featherweight champion ever. And I know there was potential talks of this fight that just happened. It kind of occurred a while ago on an Australia card, and unfortunately for you, it couldn't happen. You couldn't compete on that card. So is a goal for you this year to compete in Australia again, or is that just something that... Oh, definitely. If there's a card in Australia, I'm jumping on it. You know, I've got a fight in now, so I don't know when it would be, but it would make sense for me to wait for it. Congratulations. Thank you. Rob, over here. Uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, is this your first time fighting in California? It is, it is. How did you enjoy the experience with us out here? Mate, the crowd were wild. Absolutely wild. Even at the, the press conference and the weigh-ins, like you were, they, they were wild. And uh, I've fought a lot of places, and I've got to say, this is up there, top two. Top two. I think sometimes fans don't realize it. Is that... A is that that extra boost of energy when you're out there in the cage, even though you're trying to focus on everything, when you hear such an excited crowd out there? Uh, mate, when I'm in the octagon itself, I don't really hear much. I don't really hear much. I think I, think I hear the, like the, the ahs and oohs when you, when you land shots, but it's kind of, it really does become background noise because, I don't know, in my fight, it was happening every 10 seconds. <laughs> there was a lot of ahs and oohs. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Hey Rob, Over here. where are we? I was, uh, I was getting texts and that from friends back in like New York saying they were watching in bars and people scream for you when you came out of the bars. I've seen people at other shows wearing Reaper t-shirts and Reaper gear even over here in the States. What do you think it is about yourself that makes you so popular even over here like away from your home country? Uh, I, think, I, think a, I think a big thing is that people can, people can tell fake and I'm not fake. What you see is what you get and... Um, Another thing I believe is I don't try to be likable. It's, you know, I, I, <laughs> like, I, I don't try to make people like me. You either like what you see or you don't. And I understand there are heaps of people on the other side of the fence, but <coughs> I just mind my own business, keep to myself, and try to put on exciting fights for everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much.